Welcome back everybody. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can create your own templates. So in the future, if you start a same kind of project, you could use your own template, which you know that you have created that and what are the things you need, you can add that to template. So you don't have to set up your project every time you start a new project. Now to show you how to create a template, we can simply select an architecture template, which is a very simple template. So I'm going to click on architecture template, which will create a project for us. Now in this template, we have level one, level two side. In the floor plans, we have two ceiling plans. We have elevations. And here we can see we don't have any sheet. We don't have any schedule and quantities. We don't have any legends. We'll talk about these options in details in the utilities section of this course in the plotting and uh, printing section as well but now i just want to show you how you can create your own templates now first thing we need to do is we need to go to the manage tab and then we will change our units for the project and i use inch and feet so i will change this to let's just say feet and fractional inches i'm gonna rounding to make it one by four click OK, click OK. And then here I'm going to click on project information. I'm going to type organization name. So let's say I work for a company and they have the organization name. So I don't have to set up the organization name every time I start a new project so I can create a template. So well, let's just say uh, always LTD. It's just a name. I don't know what to what else to write. So I would just say <laughs> And I would say architectural All right, building name. Well, we just say 001 and author to say my name. And for issue date and a project status, I want to write that every time I start a new project because every project is going to have a different issue date. So I'm not going to write that here. So I'm going to click OK. And now we have set up our project information. We set up our units. Now, if you're working with the structure, there are other settings as well. You can do structure setting, connection setting. You can do additional settings such as line default line weights and line patterns and your location as well. So your agency is in, let's say, California, in America. So I'm going to click on location. It's going to open up this dialog box and I can select the location here. So the product address, I'm in Melbourne, Australia, so I'll just type Melbourne and it will search for me. I'm going to click on search and I can select this in Melbourne, Australia. So this is going to my default location where I work. So, well, it could be a different location because the house project I'm working on could be in Black Spring or Craigieburn in Melbourne. So I can just change that later on, but I just want to give it the project address Melbourne, Australia to just show you how you can create a template. And every time you start a new project with that template, this setting will be automatically done for you. Now we have done a few settings here. Now I want to show you how you can add a schedule and quantities. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click on new schedule and quantities which will give me this dialog box. Here I can select what kind of schedules and quantities I want to add to this project. Now here we can add, let's just say doors. I'm going to click on door and name would be door schedule. That's fine. I'm going to click on OK. This give me another dialog box. And now we have tables and columns, right? Rows and columns in our sheet, in schedule and quantity sheet. So in that we need to add a few columns. So first column we want to add is, let's just say width. I'm going to click on this button to add that to schedule field. Then we can click on type, add that there as well. Level, add that there as well. Model, add that there as well. And height should be height somewhere here. Yep, round height. Let's add that as well into our sheet. Still height add that as well and we have account so add that as well now after you adding all of these things well you could design all these things and add them to your schedule sheet 
I can move this up and down as well. So this is going to be column one, second column, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So I can just move this count to the top. Okay, that's what I wanna add to one column. And then I can select this type. I wanna be to second column. And then I'm gonna click OK. And that will create a sheet for us. So this is gonna be schedule and quantity sheet. So we have a count type, width, level, model, rough height. So it's up to you that you wanna design this sheet. So now what we can do here, I'm gonna go to level one floor plans. And to demonstrate that, I'm actually going to create a wall. So let's just click on a wall and let's just add, and let's just finish the command by clicking on modify button. So inside the wall, I want to add a door. So let's select the door command and we'll take our mouse cursor around our wall and I'm going to click here. This will add a door. So I'm going to add another door here, another door here. And I'm going to get out from the command by clicking on modify command. Now we can look at a schedule and quantity. We have this door schedule here. I'm going to double click on it to open that. So now we can see that we have three doors. We have the width for the doors. We have the level of the doors, of which were created on level one. That's what it says. Level one model doesn't say anything. Rough doesn't say anything. Still height is nothing. So that's how you can add schedule and quantities in your template. So let's say you want to, you usually work on a house product. So you might have a wall schedule, door schedule, window schedule, your column schedule, your roof schedule, and whatever you like, you can add that. The same thing we will learn in the sheet. Well, I have the separate videos for these things in later in the course, but just to roughly show you guys how to create a template, that's why I'm just adding a few things here. Now let's say this is a template we want to start every time we start a new project. Definitely we don't want this wall and doors, so I'm just going to select them by selecting this window. And I'm going to click on this command to delete them, or you could press delete on the keyboard. Now let's say this is our template. Now I want to click on Revit menu, and I'm going to go to Save As, and I'm going to click on Save As Template instead of Project. Let's click on that. And now I'm going to change the name of this template to my archi template. All right. And the file type is .rte. This is the extension for template file in Revit. I'll save that into documents or maybe in on the desktop. We'll just save that in documents. I'm going to save this. And now let's just say I'm going to close this project. I'm going to close this. And next, I want to start a new project with that template. I'm going to click on New, and I'm going to click on Browse, and we save that template in a document folder. And there you go. We have this My Archi template. I'm going to select that, click on Open to open that, and I'm going to click on OK to create a project with that template. Now, you will notice that the project we created before, actually, the template we created before, now we need to verify that do we have all those settings in this project. So we can see we have scheduled quantities, we have a door schedule, that's what we added in the template. In the level one, we don't have anything, but we go to manage tab, and then we can click on project information. As you can see, the organization name is there, organization description is there, building name and author name is there. So now I don't have to set up all of these things again and again, and every time I start a new project, it's already been set up for me, so all I have to do is to open a new project with that template and just start working on the project. Now, just verify the project units as well. Yep, it's been properly done, feet and flexion inches. So now we have our own template that we can use every time we start a new project. A lot of companies and organizations have a different templates for a particular type of work. If someone working on a structural, they have their own template, so you don't have to add up all these details again and again. So this is how you can save a template and create a new project from your own created template.